Hey folks, this is Johnny and this video is going to be on reprogramming the buttons on the fader port 8 and this is very cool You can really customize the fader port and all of its programmable buttons to really appeal to your workflow So the first thing we're going to do is I want to show you what some people experience When they're using smaller monitors or a lower resolution on their monitor uh, on their computers You can see here that we only see one of these controls link windows and there should be two and in order to do the programming on the fader port we need that second window now a lot of this is because right now I have a computer with a higher resolution and a smaller monitor so we don't see everything on the top bar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take studio one and I'm just gonna scoot it over a bit you see I'm moving it over and if I just make it a little bit wider boom there we go there's the box that I need to actually do all of this and this is the control link box so you got to make sure that you see this whenever you're going to go and reprogram your fader port or any other device that you have hooked up okay so what I want to do is I want to reprogram the foot switch on the fader port I want it to be start stop instead of punch record and what we can do here is we can actually create a new track and we're going to actually drag it down to the bottom so we can really see it. There we go. And I'm going to open up nice and wide. And then I'm going to arm the track. Right so right now, now if, if I, I were, were to, to hit, hit turn this off right now. If I were to hit the foot pedal, you will see that record is engaged immediately. There we go. And now I can actually talk over this as if I was a radio DJ. And there we go. I'm going to punch out. There we go, and it's done. So now if we listen back to it. There we go, and now I can actually talk over this as if I was a radio DJ. All right, cool. So we actually saw that work. I'm going to do a, a uh, Command Z to actually remove that. So what I'm going to show you now is I want to show you that I can actually make this a start-stop option instead of a record option. So I'm going to go up here to the control link box, and you can see that the last thing I hit was the foot switch. But if I, if I was to touch another fader, that would change to the faders and what they control. But I'm going to drop this down here, and I'm going to choose the fader port, and boom, there we go. We have a nice window with all of the buttons that are able to be reprogrammed. Now, this section is not able to be reprogrammed yet. As soon as that becomes available, I will actually make a video for that. So we're just going to concentrate on this section right here. Here are the three user buttons right across the top here. And then here are all of the F keys, which are right at the bottom here below the jog wheel. So now up here, this nice little round thing is our foot switch. So what I want to do is I want to right click on this and I'm going to say assign command. And I am going to make this ST. A R T and we actually want this to be toggle start so that when I hit the foot switch it will start and or stop depending on what condition it's already in so I'm just gonna move this off to the side and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna hit the foot pedal there we go it started I'm gonna hit the foot pedal again and it stops so now you can do that with any one of these buttons here I can right click and I can reassign any of these commands. Some of these commands hold actual macros. Some of these are just single commands. Anything in this list is available to that button that I just uh, right clicked on. And you can go all the way down the list. You can turn on and off tracks. You can, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this here. So that is how to reprogram the fader port 8 uh, with all of the options and using the right click uh, assign command and that should be it if you guys have any questions please leave your comments below and i will see you in the next video